for more on the day's market action, I want to take you to Winnipeg. We want to speak with National Bank's Rob Tetro. He joins us now. Good to have you with us. Great to be here, Michael. Uh, Bombardier was flying high today. Didn't make it on my top five list today, however. How do you feel about the stock uh, on the heels of that Air Canada order for the C-Series? Well, personally, I think uh, the news is, is long overdue, and any, any news at this point would be good news for Bombardier. They've, they've struggled mightily, as everyone knows. Uh, they, they were a $4 stock. They were in everyone's portfolio, and now we're seeing below a buck some serious margin issues for anyone who's trading that stock on margin. So they needed some good news, and, and it came from Air Canada. And as we look at a 21.1% increase in the shares today, what do you say to an, an investor who's either underwater or has seen that kind of gain? Do you lock in a profit? Do you, do you cash out at this point, or do you ride this higher? I would be cashing out. This is not a stock that I like uh, long-term or short-term. Uh, I like to sell here on the news. Uh, they, they made, uh, it was a 20 cents today, so that's enough for me to get out. Good time to get out. I don't like the prospects of the company long term. Uh, that They're bleeding cash like crazy. They're not going to be profitable in 2016, in my opinion. And not only that, um, can they compete long term with the C-Series jet? They haven't sold one in, in a year and a half almost, so um, I, I'd be getting out. All right, what about going a little further up the food chain and going with Air Canada itself? I've never been a believer of airlines, and I can thank my father for that and my grandfather. They have, they're of the Warren Buffett mind that uh, mm. the only way to, to make money with airlines is not to own them. So I've, I've never been a believer in airlines, and I, I'm staying away from it. And uh, today, the just shocking news in my mind, uh, Rovanescu's comments to the investors, uh, not sure why he would say that. To me, it just it strikes of, of trying to go all in in a poker game with a, with a pair of sixes when you know you're, you're beat. Um, I, I, just, I just don't like that move at all today. Well, you're talking about that line where he said if you're a short-term investor, you're more than welcome to sell the stock, and it looks like they did? Yeah, I mean, who cares about what you should care about, Rovan Eskew, is all your investors, whether they're short-term, long-term, or medium-term. You need to care about everyone, anyone who owns a stock at that particular moment. And he clearly slapped them in the face today, and, and they called this bluff. And you know what? The stock's down 10%. Good for him. He should learn a lesson. That's not the way a CEO should behave in my mind. What do you care about? What, what's interesting you right now in this crazy market environment, Rob? Well, I'm really interested in oil. I really like financials. Uh, to me, there's an amazing opportunity right now. Anyone who's panicking, anyone who's, who's losing sleep over the market right now, uh, it's time for you to, to call your advisor and to make sure that, that, that you know what some of the amazing buying opportunities are out there. And specifically, I like financials. Um, if we're talking energy, I'd stay away from the small caps and mid caps. Personally, I'd, I'd touch the, the big names. But I'm buying. I've been buying here for the last two weeks. We've been buying cash for our clients. We've been suggesting our clients invest. Uh, I do not know where the bottom is. I'm not a bottom picker, as you recall. But uh, I do know that uh, somewhere near here, in my mind, there will be a bottom in the next whatever it is, three, six, nine months. In the long term, in 2017, 2018, 2019, we'll be glad we bought in February 2016. Okay, so what's, what's giving you the, the buy signal at this point? Because so many of my past guests have said, I'm happy to lose 3, 4, 5, 10% upside just to confirm that the bottom is in on oil specifically in this conversation. Well, if we leave oil aside, if we're talking about oil specifically, I'm not jumping into oil uh, full steam because I am scared of oil because commodities is something that doesn't behave in a rational manner, a lot less than the markets do. So when it comes to that specific commodity, um, you know, there's analysts who track it. And I'm, I'm personally, I like to focus on something I understand, which is numbers, balance sheets, profitability, uh, dividend earnings. So I, I like to focus on that. And we got companies now that are trading at multiples that they should not be, uh, financials. Uh, I like REITs that have corrected significantly right now. I may be wrong on the bottom, and I'm acknowledging that. I do not know where it is, but I do know that long term, I'm going to be happy to get paid that dividend. Uh, specifically, we're talking financials, banks. I'm going to be happy to collect that dividend in the short to medium term while this market starts to become rational again. And once it does, in my mind, there will be a capital appreciation. Now, I don't know if that's in three months or six months, but I do know that long term, I'll be happy that I bought financials uh, around this time. Okay, so just for clarification, you're not recommending oil or oil stocks either at this point? Or are you saying you can buy oil stocks at this point? Because mo most of them be are underwater as far as cash costs against the barrel itself. Yeah, so again, I, I don't know, I, I don't, 
like the commodity play specifically. Mm -hmm. If we, if you are doing uh, oil play, I, I'd stick to the larger caps. Um, I, I know there's less upside. I get it. There's less upside, but there's also significantly less risk. We may see bankruptcies in those small to medium caps. Well, we will see bankruptcies in the small caps, in my mind, and we may see bankruptcies in the medium caps. So, uh, if, if that's a play you want to make, I mean, just be aware that it, it, it could go very south. But there's obviously a lot more upside. You can't have it both ways. You can't have your lunch and eat it too, right? Rob, good to have you with us. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. Rob Tetro is a portfolio manager at National Bank Financial. He joined us uh, from...